everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura and if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you, thank you, thank you. As you can see, I am sitting in my car out in front of physical therapy right now. Uh, we have been running since 8.30 this morning. And right now it is eight minutes till two. And I have not been home all day. We have had doctor's appointments and I'm just like, I'm not sure if I'm even gonna get this video done today. <laughs> so while I'm sitting here waiting on therapy to be done, I thought, you know what, just go ahead, shoot it real fast and let's move on with life because again, a busy, busy Monday. So I just wanna give y'all a quick check-in for week 28. How, How did I do? <laughs> How did things go? And get y'all updated on how my OMAD journey and intermittent fasting lifestyle has progressed. Last week when you joined me, I had gained a whole lot of weight because I'd taken the week before off. I think I was up to 185.6 and that was a gain of like 6.6 .6 pounds. So this week I told y'all I was gonna try to eat clean. Well, clean-ish. What that meant for me was I was gonna cut out sweets and alcohol, um, not so much eating like clean food. I eat whatever I want on my one meal, but I was trying to get away from all the bad things I had been doing over the last couple of weeks. So I um, cleaned up the alcohol and the sweets and all the sugars and junk last week. And so this morning when I got on the scale, I was 180.8. So I have pulled off 4.8 pounds of water weight, which most of it was, and maybe a little little fat, but most of it was water weight. I knew that going into it. So I am still 1.8 pounds up from my lowest weight, which was 179. So I will start counting again when I see that again, 179, come on, I gotta get down to 177.8 to hit that 50 pounds. So I'm still a few pounds shy of that 50 pounds off. And that is what my goal is before August 14th. So I think I can do it. I just gotta stick to it and keep pushing on. <laughs> so if y'all wanna know what my meals are like this week and what exercise I did, stick around and I'm gonna tell you what all happened this week. So far as my meals, I did eat one meal a day. I stuck to coffee. I did have some um, heavy cream in my coffee in the mornings. Um, so I was just needing a little more than what I was getting from my one meal because I think I told y'all last week, my daughter-in-law has been dragging me to the gym. So last week was week one. And let me tell you, I went to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I also did skate class, not once, not two, not three, not four, five times last week I skated. All the extra movement made me hungry. I mean, it's great exercise, don't get me wrong, but man, I was hungry pretty much all week. And I know it's just from go, 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 the extra movement, lifting, my own body weight, the skating. I mean, when I stopped and looked at it, no wonder why I was so dog tired this weekend. I didn't want to do anything. I was like whipped. And I was like, no wonder, man, <laughs> I was killing myself with overload of exercise this week. <sighs> but it showed on the scale. So that's a positive. I'm happy with that. So what did I do for food? So Monday I had a barbecue sandwich, a salad and some veggie tots. I have really gotten into the veggie tots. We used to eat them a long time ago. I forgot about them. And man, I bought a bag here a couple weeks ago and it's like, I wanna eat them with every meal now. So I'm not even a broccoli fan, but the veggie tots have broccoli and cheese inside of them. And I'm like, I'll eat them that way. So that was my meal on Monday. Tuesday, I had salad, sweet potato fries, and some ribeye steaks. On Wednesday, my meals were spaghetti, garlic bread, um, some hamburger patties. Just, I wanted protein. I'm telling you by Wednesday and Thursday, I was starving. So all the exercise, not even talking about, we went to the pool three times last week. I forgot about that. So we did a lot last week with therapy three times also that week. Literally it was something every day. So no wonder why I was so hungry, but yeah, I ate an extra meat patty with my spaghetti and meat sauce. Give me some protein, right? <laughs> so that was Wednesday. On Thursday, I had hamburger, veggie tots, and a salad. And then on Friday, I did a repeat with the spaghetti and meat sauce, garlic bread, 
and a salad. Trying to get those leftovers gone. <laughs> and sometimes it takes a few days and I'm not a big leftover fan as most of you know. So I got the spaghetti done. So on Saturday, I had chicken fried steak, salad, veggie tots, and a hamburger patty. And on Sunday, it was a repeat of Saturday, except I had some corn on the cob in there instead of just with the veggie tots. So as you can see, it was overall a great week. Lots of exercise, lots of activity. Um, I was extremely exhausted and tired, but it all worked out well. I got the results I was wanting to see on the scale. It's moving down again, and we are getting closer to that 50 pound goal by that 50th birthday. All right, guys, I know that this is a quick little video, but I just wanted to give y'all a quick update and try to get something posted for you guys today while I have a chance, while I'm sitting here waiting on Ariel to get out of therapy, and she has just now gotten out, so I've got to get off here and get us home so we can get to eating. <laughs> All right, I hope y'all have a great day, and I will check in with you next week and let y'all know how things are going. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.